All right, everybody, this is Matthijs Beckers. Um, I just wanted to show you something very interesting. How much energy would it take, or better, how much uh, IMSR reactors would it take to desalinate the equivalent of what is being provided by the Hatch Hatchy water system, which provides uh, water for about 1.8, 1.7 million people in the Bay Area, one of my favorite places to go in the world. So right now we are looking at, let's see, it's Cherry Lake, Lake Eleanor and the Hatch Hatchy Reservoir. Now, these are all situated in the Yosemite National Park. And what they basically do is feed a water system that goes all the way up towards, you know, Palo Alto, San Mateo, and ultimately San Francisco, and also some parts of the eastern shore of the Bay Area. So right over here, you can see what it says. The cities, water districts, and private utilities represented by the Bay Area Water Supply and Conservation Agency rely upon the Hatch Hatchy system for water to protect the health, safety, and economic well-being of 1.7 million citizens, businesses, and community organizations. Now down here you, you see a pretty cool schematic of the Hatch Hatchy water system. Um, as you see, it starts at Lake Lloyd, Lake Eleanor, and Hatch and the Hatch Hatchy Reservoir, and it basically all gets collected, you know, into uh, into the and, and then pumped into the system that feeds 1.7 million people. So there's basically there's a reservoir over here there's another reservoir over there and a powerhouse that basically does the pumping there's also a san antonio reservoir over here and a calaveras dam and reservoir over there so and all these things over here uh help 1.7 million people have drinking water and water for you know whatever they need here you can see the outline of the water service area so it's uh this is the eastern part of the uh, bay area then you've got a part of san jose it's not entirely san jose but it all but it goes all the way up to the pacific ocean and then the entire peninsula which uh includes san francisco you know palo alto and uh, all of those uh pretty important cities the What's it called? Silicon Valley. All of them drink because there's, you know, this this enormous network of of reservoirs and pipes and pump stations and such. Um, so the question was, how many IMSRs would it take to create the same volume of water? And first, I need to explain to you what the IMSR is. Let's see, I, I, I should have put that on the screen already, but it's pretty simple. I mean, I only have to take in IMSR. Um, the IMSR is basically the integral molten salt reactor. It's a pool type reactor. It's basically a bucket in which you have um, a graphite lattice and uh, a hot salt which contains uranium and uh, that's basically a nuclear reactor it has some heat exchangers on top it has almost uh, uh, it, 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 it it's being you know the salt is being pumped around and uh, while it's being pumped around fission occurs and then the hot salt which has been warmed up by the fission moves through the heat exchangers and then it goes into a secondary heat exchanger and perhaps even a tertiary heat exchanger and after that it gets used for other purposes whether that is um, electricity or hydrogen production or water that's entirely up to the person who buys it. So it's, it's a pretty interesting technology. They have a 300 megawatt uh, thermal um, unit under development at this moment. And I wanted to figure out just how much 
uh, how many of these we would need to desalinate all the water that gets pumped through this system. So instead of taking it from the reservoirs, you would be taking it from the sea. Now the interesting thing here is, oh, it's even more. The regional water system provides water to 2.4 million people in San Francisco. 85% comes with it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so here it is. This is this is the most interesting thing of all. So it delivers approximately 260 million gallons of water per day. The regional system consists of over 280 miles of pipeline, over 60 miles of tunnels, 11 reservoirs, five pump stations, and two water treatment plants. So 260 million gallons, right? Now I've already uh, done some uh, some some work. So 260 million gallons. That's the same as 260 thousand kilogallons. Now, if you would want to do this using multi-stage flash, multi-stage flash basically is evaporating the water and uh, condensing it again in a different chamber and then evaporating it again and then condensing it in yet another chamber and then evaporating it again. And after so many evaporations, you basically lost all your salt ions. And um, in the case of multi-stage flash, it costs about 90 kilowatt hours per kilo gallon. Now we have 260,000 kilo gallons. So in all, and I, I always do these, you know, stepwise so, so you can follow what I'm doing. It's basically 23,400 megawatt hours each day that would be required to desalinate 260 million gallons of water using multi-stage flash desalination. Now this is a thermal process. You don't have, you don't require a lot of electricity to run it. Of course, you need some electricity for the pumps, and, you know, for some of the uh, electrical equipment to measure and such. But in all, it's mainly a thermal process. So what you're doing is you're taking the heat out of the reactor and putting it into the evaporation uh, system. Now the IMSR can deliver 300 megawatts a day. And so it can deliver, um, wait a second, let's see, because this is per year, okay, can can deliver 6,000, 6, 6,500 megawatt hours a day. So this basically means that if we divide the 23,400 by 6,500, it means that you would need about 3,500 to 4, you, you would need 4, 300 megawatt reactors in order to desalinate the volume of water each day for 2.4 million people that's amazing but this year shouldn't read multi-stage flash it should read reverse osmosis reverse osmosis basically works with membranes um, you, you you pump water through pipes and these pipes hold membranes, and these membranes basically catch the ions, the salt ions that are present in the water. So this is mainly mainly a pumping uh, operation. You don't need a lot of electricity to do this. It's a lot. Uh, it's 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 more efficient than multi-stage flash. So if you would do this using reverse osmosis, that would work at 14 kilowatt hours per kilogallon, which would require half or no, much less than half of what you would use in multi-stage flash. So instead of using 23,000, 20, almost, almost 23,400 megawatt hours, you would be using 3,640 megawatt hours. And if you divide those figures so let's see wait a second so if you divide you know that figure by that figure which i am doing right now i'm dividing 4107 megawatt hours a day by 3640 megawatt hours a day you see that you only need one imsr so this is just for desalinating the water this is not for pumping the water you would probably need another reactor or so to you know power the entire system but it's pretty cool 
that you can actually do it with just one IMSR. And an IMSR, as far as I know, costs less than a billion dollars. So yeah there's that it's it's pretty interesting i i i i didn't didn't an ex, i didn't expect this when i started to you know do these calculations but it's actually uh you could actually do it using a pretty small footprint instead of using all the water from the from the reservoirs i don't know i don't know if it's more economic to use the water from the reservoirs or not i don't know if there's anything about the price mentioned here and the uh in the Hatch Hatchy system. Uh, let's see the remaining runoff from the Anamina watersheds. Yeah, because it doesn't say anything about costs here. So, um, yeah, but it's pretty interesting. You could basically put a, I don't know, put a, put a, somewhere, I don't know whether it is inside the Bay Area or outside the Bay Area, but you could put a, 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 a a 300 megawatt thermal reactor somewhere around here and create the same volume of water required as you would get from all these reservoirs here and it would cost and it, and it would be and it could be done at reasonable cost as well so um yeah i'm pretty optimistic about the imsr uh you know full disclosure terrestrial energy is one of my uh is one is one of my patrons um and I, I think they have a terrific product and uh especially if you see that you can do it i mean the the math is not it's not terribly uh, it's not terribly complex i mean i can i can basically i can take this away here i can take this away here this is just you know um these are just the simple steps, you know, going from gallon to kilogallon is divided by 1,000. Uh, going from kilogallon per day to, you know, number of kilowatt hours per day required is just uh, multiplying this here by 90 and then dividing it by 1,000 again to get to megawatt hours because I always want to, you know, keep it at the same level. Otherwise, you have to go you know start normalizing everything i just want to normalize everything up front so you can see what it does that this is the annual production you would get in terms of uh thermal heat you know from gigawatt hours to terawatt hours now two terawatt hours is still good um yeah four units for multi-stage flash less than one unit for reverse osmosis pretty good deal less than a billion dollars for a reactor and uh yeah, I think it's. I, I don't know. I haven't. I have watched. I have looked up uh, other um, big desalination plants, and they are often orders of magnitude more expensive. Plus, they consume masses of gas. Masses of gas. Most of them are multi stage flash. So they are basically cooking the water, boiling the water, and uh, trying to evaporate off the salts and uh yeah a nuclear reactor i think would be much more elegant to do that and it's not like it's the first you know it would be the first reactor to do that because there's already dozens of reactors out there that that desalinate water it's not an entirely new process um there's plenty of reactors that do it um even in california if you look at the diablo canyon nuclear power plant they have a desalination plant on site so yeah this is a pretty pretty straightforward process and i think that this would be a very cool solution for the bay area and for other places as well i mean one reactor brings water to 2.4 million people who knew that thank you all for watching have a nice day bye bye